The Flash movie introduces a new DC universe and reveals which Justice League members survived in this new setting. It is based on the Flashpoint comic book storyline from 2011, where Barry Allen accidentally creates an alternate timeline while trying to save his mother. The movie differs from the comics by replacing Ben Affleck's Batman with Michael Keaton's version and keeping Bruce Wayne as Batman instead of his father. However, the main concept of Barry creating a new world remains intact, resulting in surprising changes. One major question was whether Henry Cavill would appear as Superman, but he only appears as a CGI version on a monitor in the Batcave. Wonder Woman also makes an appearance, saving Batman from a dangerous situation. The movie reveals that Barry has been a superhero as long as Superman, gaining his powers just before the Kryptonian invasion in Man of Steel. However, due to his inexperience, he couldn't help much during the invasion. When Barry goes back in time to the day he gained his powers, he realizes that his younger self is making different choices. This leads to Barry losing his powers and trying to gather allies to stop the Kryptonian invasion. However, he faces obstacles as Aquaman and Wonder Woman don't exist in this timeline. There are also hints that Cyborg might not exist or hasn't become Cyborg yet. The fate of Superman is revealed when Supergirl confronts General Zod, who leads the Kryptonian invasion. In this timeline, Zod intercepted the rocket carrying Kal-El and killed him, but they later discovered the Growth Codex in Kara Zor-El instead. When both Supergirl and Batman die, both versions of Barry attempt time travel to save their friends, but unfortunately, they face repeated failures. Overall, the Flash movie introduces a new DC universe, diverging from the comics in various ways, and presents unexpected challenges for Barry Allen as he tries to save his allies and prevent disaster.